did you do that? How did you do that? See how much you did by yourself. Come and stay in front of me. Too close. It's kind of dark, but stay under the light. Take your hand out your mouth. Okay, the pants is put properly. You put your socks. All right. Good job. Come here. Let me finish. Ah, uh, good. Shall I read your book so I don't have to read tonight? Come. First. What? All this time, hurry up, go get the, uh, the chip, whatever, the goldfish. Which one of these books do you want me to read for you this morning? The Spongebob one? Alright. All right. So here it says, Spongebob Squarepants, party time. Okay, what, where is the title? That's just uh, the level of reading. That's supposed, like when you're in first grade or, that's, or second grade, these are, this is what that means, that's the level, but that's not the title. Okay, SpongeBob SquarePants is part of the title, and this is the subtitle, Party Time, okay? All right, on this cover, they didn't put the uh, author's name, okay? So we turn the next page. Usually, inside, it tells you the author, all right? It says SpongeBob SquarePants, again, up here. Party Time by John and illustrated by Harry Moore. Who, did, who wrote the book? You don't need, just show me. If you, if you remember the name when I read it, who, who wrote the book? book no that's the illustrator what does the illustrator do he, he writes the thing no he makes the book no illustrator he draws the pictures in the book all these he drew them okay by john cable is the author by john cable the author, what does the author do? He draws, he draws the picture. No, author is different from illustrator. Illustrator, okay, illustrated by Harry Moore. That's the person who drew it, who drew the pictures. By John Cable is the author. Author, author is the person who writes all those words. All those words, okay? He came up with all the, with the storyline, okay? All right? Mm -hmm. What does the illustrator do again? Um, he, he writes, he writes no, the pictures. No, not write the pictures. He draw the pictures, yes. Writing, uh, when people writing the words, these, Squidward, all these, okay? Okay. All right, let's read. 
These two words, I think you should know it. What, what's this? IT. IT. What is IT? IT. No. It. It is. That's why. Right. It is. Let's see if there's another word. I'll read it, but I want to look to see if you know what word is that. I S. Is. Mm-hmm. What's this? G O. Jew. Huh? Jew. No. What sound does O make? Uh huh. Go. Huh? Go. 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 What's I T here again? I T there. What is it? I T. Uh, we uh, said it before. It. It. All right. This I think you should know. H E. What sound H make? Uh huh. <coughs> and the E. <laughs> it's he. He. Okay. And what's okay? What's this? One more before I start reading. Same thing. H e h e. This is uppercase H. Lowercase h. What is that? H. I mean lowercase h. Yes, but the words together. H e. H e. Uh huh. I just said it here. What is that? He. 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 Okay. And what's this? He. Same thing. All right. Let me read it for you. Not clariton. Clarinet. Okay. It is Squidward's birthday. He gives himself a new clarinet. Whose birthday it is? Squidward. And what did he give himself? Um. Uh. Huh? Claret on. Huh? Claret on. Claret on. It's mm -hmm. clarinet. Clarinet. Okay. Squidward goes outside. He plays his new clarinet. Where did he go to play his clarinet? Outside. Okay. SpongeBob is also outside. He plays fetch with Gary. Who was outside? SpongeBob. What, who he was playing with? Gary. Gary. SpongeBob throws a stick. Go get it, Gary, he says. Gary brings the stick back. Meow, says Gary. Squidward puts the clarinet down. Oh no, SpongeBob accidentally grabs the clarinet and throws it. Uh-oh. Crack, the clarinet breaks. What did uh, SpongeBob did? He threw the clarinet all the way to outer space. Oh, <gasps> uh, come on. What did Spongebob do? He threw the Claritin. C not Claritin. <laughs> Clarinet. Clarinet. Say Claire. Clarinet. <laughs> Claritin. All right. Do you think Spon um, Squidward happy? No. Le leave that here for now. We'll take care of it later. All right. Go throw it away. Do you think um, Squidward is happy of what uh, Spongebob did? No. You, what did Spongebob do? He threw the he threw the clarinet. To whom? Who did uh, SpongeBob throw the clarinet to? Um, Squidward. Uh huh. Uh, no, not Squidward. <laughs> Gary. Gary, his pet, okay? Gary brings the stick back. Meow, says Gary. Squidward puts the clarinet down. Oh no, oh, I read this already. Come here. Alright, so, okay, I read this. He has to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, says SpongeBob. You have ruined my birthday, yells. Okay. You have ruined my birthday, yells Squidward. SpongeBob must fix Squidward's birthday. I will throw him like the that. best party ever, he says. Patrick will help. The party will be at 
Krusty Krab. So what did uh, SpongeBob decide to do? He wanted, he wanted to throw him a new birthday. Why do you think he wants to throw him a new birthday? Because he ruined his birthday. How did he ruin his birthday? By throwing his clarinet. So what happened to the clarinet? It broke. Oh, very good. I like that. You're following too. Very good. SpongeBob makes a delicious cake. Patrick blows up balloons and decorates the Krusty Krab. SpongeBob and Patrick make a giant ice of Squidward. SpongeBob wraps a special gift for Squidward. Everything is ready for the party. So who was helping um, SpongeBob with the party? Um. Hmm? I don't know. What's his name? Who is this? Look at the picture at least. What's his name? I don't know. Patrick. Patrick. What did what did Patrick do? Um, he helped SpongeBob. Uh huh. What kind of thing did he do? He made he made a giant ice mm -hmm. of Claritin. I mean, I mean Squidward. Uh huh. And what else did he do? He blew balloons, you see? Look at his face, blowing up the balloons. All right, so everything is ready for the party. Do you think, um, what's his name, Squidward's going to be happy? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Crab goes to Squidward's house. Knock, knock. Squidward opens the door. There is an emergency at the Krusty Crab, says Mr. C uh, Mr. Crabs. Why do you think Mr. Crab? Yeah, why do you think Mr. Crab trying to do? He's trying to make Squidward go to the Krusty Crab. To do what? For what? To, to work? No. What? To celebrate his birthday. Very good, Mark. Very good. Squidward and Mr. Crab run to the Krusty Crab. When Squidward walks in, everyone cheers. Surprise! They shouted. Look at his face. Do you think he was surprised? Uh -huh. Do you think he knew about the party? Uh -huh. Okay. Take your hand out your mouth. We are all here to wish you a happy birthday, says SpongeBob. I'm here for a crabby party. Oh, not party. Party, says a customer. SpongeBob gives Squidward a gift. It is a new clarinet. Do you think Squidward is happy with his gift? What is the new gift that... Uh, it's clarinet. Clarinet. Squidward plays a song. Hooray! Everyone claps Squidward's bows. Squidward thanks SpongeBob. This was a great birthday, he says. So, do you think he's really happy about it? Mm -hmm. Why do you think he's happy about it? Tell me two reasons why you think he's happy about it. Because he celebrated his birthday and he gave him a new clarinet. Wow! Very good, Mark. I'm impressed. Happy birthday, Squidward. There it is. And that's your reading for today. So I have to put it on your thing when you come back. On your reading bag. Um, he looks he looks so he looks something like this. <laughs> I think he's mad again. He's mad again? Mm -hmm. He's uh he's always mad. Alright, good job. It's almost time to go. Look, look, it says the picture over here. But there's a picture uh again, that's the same picture. See? But a smaller version. So can you point to me the title of the book? Okay, where is the subtitle? Very good. Show, show me the picture, Mommy. Who's sucking on his thumb? You should start putting your shoes. I think it's almost time. Today is September 14, 2017. It's 9.45. I wasn't planning on vlogging today. Um, Today is my off day. I did full body at the gym. Um, I want to focus on my nutrition today and clean up the house and uh, take care of some stuff. Um, and I already promised my kids' school 
that uh, I have some stuff for them. And you have seen in a couple of my videos, I have this mess here. It's more mess because I just add to it. Those books that I have for the kids. And some of them, they don't really, they outgrow them. Um, so I was thinking of, because on I believe on Monday, my husband um, plan on driving. There's some stuff that needs to be taken care of. So um, we we're going to drop these things off. So I need to go through them because my youngest, who is five, there's some of these books he could still use. I want him, when he comes back from school, to look at them, see if it's something that he wants to keep. Otherwise, they just pile of mess in the house. We have a lot of books I need to get rid of. And uh, I'm just going to go through them and see what can go at the moment and things that, I, that can stay. Um, so I'm going to go through them. Like, for instance, we have uh, uh, this I'm going to keep. This is, uh, you know, it's a reading book. You know, he goes through it, he presses this, and uh, the thing will be reading along with him. So that he could, I'm going to keep so he could uh, do some reading on his own whenever he feels like it. But the majority of the other stuff... Let me put this here. Like, for instance, this is like a... I, I remember I bought this, like, maybe five or six years ago. We went on vacation to Washington, and uh, we were walking around. There's a Barnes & Noble that was going out of business. They had this and a couple of other books I have here. These are alphabets, puzzles. Um, I don't think he needs them. He outgrown them. He knows the letters. Um, right now we're working on sound of letters, putting letters together to make words. So this, that definitely can go, because he had gone this already. And there's other books. See, this belongs over there. This morning they were reading it. They were playing with it before they went to school. Uh, this space. But I have other small books here. I guess I could read with them. Shit, my name is on this thing. Um, that my youngest could still probably, you know, go. Um, I could read with them. I don't know. It's a lot of small little books. Some of them are books that people give us. Uh, that's Curious George. You know, small little words that he probably could still use things about animals yeah I want to give them away but at the same time these are books some of, majority of them are at his level uh, his level right now my youngest and uh, they're just making too much mess like the back room where the where I usually work I have a, a, a shelf that has a lot of books like these, I think they could go. I don't even want to look at them because and some of them, he read them already. And look at this, I have two of these. I think I had one and then a friend of mine gave it to me. So I want to uh, just get rid of them. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to stop the camera, but this is just to show you that uh, the, I'm trying to get rid of that mess that I have in the corner here. Too many books, too many stuff, and other people could probably use them instead of throwing them away. So that's it for now. So today is still, you know, September 14, 2017. Um, I was working at the computer and uh, I, you know, I came to wash my face. I took a shower and everything already, but I was behind the computer for a while. I decided to come and wash my face. And I'm looking at my, I break out very easily. And um, there are times I have little pimples here and there. I just ignore it. But um, I have this huge pimple right here on my side of the face, right here. Uh, which one should I? Like right here. I'm, the camera is pointing to the mirror, so it's kind of hard to... It's this pimple right here, and I feel like one is coming around here. And I know exactly what causes it. Because 
I may have a video of it. I think it was yesterday. Yesterday's video. The third, what is it? Today's the 14th, the 13th. The, I usually put the date next to the title of my uh, videos. So it's yesterday's video, which is the four, the 13th, September 13th. I went to the supermarket, the Korean supermarket to buy this. I saw this bread and I felt like I'm gonna eat that right now. Still right now, I'm not hungry. That's the problem with me. There are times I don't feel really hungry, but my body needs it. Uh, I, I just ate everything. It's some um, Chinese or Korean buns um, I bought and I just finished eating it. I started yesterday, I, after I ate four of them, I started feeling this coming. And uh, I just finished eating eat the rest that was there the kids don't even care about that so i i bought it for myself anyway so i just finished eat the rest and i'm feeling another one coming right here so i know not to buy this there's something and this that doesn't go with me they don't put the ingredient but it has peanuts and other nuts but i've eaten peanut butter i've eaten other things i don't have crazy pimples like that but there's something in there. I mean, it doesn't really state all the ingredients that's in there. It's just uh, allergen information produced in a facility that processes peanuts and other nuts. But that's pretty much it. Nothing, not no ingredients and stuff like that. So, like I was saying, there's something in there that doesn't go with me. I know not to buy it anymore. But if I'm worrying about every single thing that I put in my mouth, believe me, I will not eat anything because everything affect my skin one way or another i just have to eat in moderation but definitely this one i know for sure not to buy because it brings the pimples out really quickly there are some other things that i've eaten um it brings some um pimples or whatever it breaks my um my skin a little bit but it doesn't come out that fast i still eat them but i don't go crazy with them but definitely this one i'm not gonna eat it so this just this came yesterday and there's one that's about to come right here i'm feeling it and that's from the thing because i just finished eat that bread so i'm gonna i don't know what i'm gonna do right now i need to take a break away from the computer my eyes is uh feeling a little bit uh I don't know, tired or something like that. Uh, the screen, the light on the screen bothers my eyes right now, so I need to stay away. I'm probably gonna go back and start looking at the books again, the mess that I have in the living room, where um, I create a video. I started recording the process of it, about the books that I'm gonna be giving away to my kids' school. So that's it for now. September 14th. Same day. I didn't go to the gym. I did little videos here and there throughout the day. I'm gonna throw my memories away. Now I feel I'm done. And I am cursed by every day. Till my time is gone. I've never felt this way before. And now I know this all for sure. I, won't for I was just about to have my salad. It's literally like maybe five minutes after I did that pull up and that stretch that I did on, at the door. And I was like, you know what? Let me not go with what uh, my body is feeling, where I don't really feel like eating. I have this already set up. I might as well eat it. Because, because the way I was feeling at the gym the other day, yesterday, was pretty good. I actually stayed a little bit longer than, you know, than, how I, um, than what I wanted to because I was able to do a full body and I was full of energy and uh, so I need to eat. I don't wanna have my orange juice to keep on substituting or give me, giving me temporary uh, relief. Although it's good, I still drink orange juice when I'm there. That's kind of pepper I'm adding. So I put, uh, 
Italian dressing and cayenne pepper. Um, <clears throat> so the oranges, this is something I, I talk a lot about in several of my videos, probably three videos uh, that I've mentioned how good um, I, I think I still have, I put the orange juice in there or did I give it to my son? I've discussed a lot about orange juice. I always take uh, sometimes two of these. Actually, let me keep these out when I go in the back room to put in my gym bag for tomorrow or maybe I'll put in the refrigerator. Hopefully I don't forget. But anyway, the orange juice always help me at the gym. Um, I don't need, uh, I, actually once my supplements are done, the creatine and I have BCA, uh, well, sometimes I use it when I make it, well, not sometimes, when I make my uh, oatmeal cookies, I use them on my oatmeal cookies for post-workout, but I don't need them, my body don't rely on them to keep me um, active or strong when I'm at the gym. This helps me. So when my body is not at where it should be, um, let's say this is the baseline, let's say this is zero where my body should be uh, for, uh, at minimum. Sometimes when I don't eat the, well the day before, my body, uh, uh, stamina, what's the energy and stuff like that, it's below normal. So when I drink the orange juice, it stabilizes it and put it right there at normal. But if I eat well the day before, the minute I'm at the gym, I'm already at normal, right? That, this is like my uh, immature way <coughs> of explaining it. When I eat well the day before and um, I'm at the, when I get to the gym, my, my metabolism is at normal. And then when I sip through the orange juice, it brings it slightly higher. So I want to be at normal tomorrow when I'm at the gym. So when I sip through the orange, uh, orange juice, I could be above normal. So this is, I didn't study this. I did not read this anywhere with the exception of um, an article that I read at one point where uh, runners, or tri not triathlon, um, uh, uh, how do you call these people who run um, marathon runners? They will put orange, uh, oranges on the side of the road for them to eat. That will help them build their energy. In one of my videos, uh, I had put that link on it. And you could check that video. I don't remember which video it was. But I had mentioned about uh, the power of oranges. And I put the link of that article that I'm talking about. So, um, and I find about the how this orange juice have helped me by accident and then um, from that I usually pay attention to what I put in my mouth like for instance today I did that video about the pimples that come in my face and I already know what caused it is the bread that I just ate and that's the only thing on my system besides the coffee that I drank earlier this morning so I always pay attention how my, my body react to certain things so when I knew about, when I realized about the orange juice, I always have that orange juice in my uh, gym bag and uh, with a bottle of water. So I'm just telling you what my experience. I don't expect you to follow it. I'm not a doctor. So I just want to share the good of the orange juice that I've experienced. That's it. So I'm going to eat my um, salad and probably later on when I'm making uh, I plan on drinking the soup um, that I made the other day um, later on probably eat with the kids or if I feel hungry later if I'm making it I'll show you guys but that's it for now let me go relax I have about two hours before the kids come that's it so it's about uh, well it is three o'clock um, what I plan on having right now I just warm these up that's ground meat and some beans I'm gonna finish them today I'm gonna, I left the, the salad dressing. I love, I love to drink the salad dressing. So the, I already have my cayenne pepper in it. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna put some rice in it. I might have to make some more rice. Not a lot of rice. And I'm gonna throw my ground meat in it. And the beans. As my meal. 
It seems like when um, I don't eat, my body is okay with it. But once I trigger my system, which, uh, which I just ate the salad dressing, all of a sudden, I want to eat. And what I'm going to do actually later is uh, before I pick up the kids, I'm going to leave slightly early. I'm going to buy uh, sweet potato. I feel like eating sweet potato. I'm going to boil it and then eat it. So this is what I'm having here. <laughs> I killed it with cayenne pepper. So that's rice, beans, ground meat, and the, and the salad dressing at the bottom. So that's my meal too. So it's about 4.30. I'm about to pick up the kids. And I'm looking at the window. It looks like it's about to rain. Yesterday it rained. Uh, I'm wearing my jacket. Um, because I don't really like to wear... Uh, I don't like to uh, carry umbrellas, so I'm wearing <laughs> what I have here. Oh, let me spread this. I'll be wearing this with that pants, and I like to wear my sandal to walk in the <laughs> um, in the water um, in the rain. <sighs> and I have to. I'm gonna stop. The reason I, actually I could have leave like in ten minutes, but. I want to stop at the Korean store. I want to get some sweet potato. I'm kind of full after I ate uh, that thing, but uh, I might want to eat that either tomorrow also. So I'm going to get like two sweet potatoes and uh, I have that coupon I'm thinking um, I got yesterday. Um, I might buy them. You know what? I may not even buy them anything because we have some snacks here. So um, we have enough here. And that coupon is good for like a week. So I'm just gonna go for the sweet potato. And I'm gonna go pick them up. So that's it for now. Shit. That's gonna create problems. Traffic. <laughs> 